Edelbrock's E4 Supercharger Kit for 2011 to 2014 Mustang GTs is a great blower setup that can grow as your appetite for horsepower increases. We're going to start to unlock the potential of this brilliantly designed blower for first gen Coyote engines by installing Edelbrock's Stage 2 upgrade and head to the dyno to see the results. The Edelbrock Stage 2 upgrade includes everything you need to give your E4 supercharger equipped Mustang a significant bump in power, including a smaller 3 quarter inch supercharger pulley, an open element cold air kit, and a PCM calibration. Let's get started. We began the process by removing the factory intake setup and the MAF sensor housing. Then we loosened the blower pulley bolts before unhooking the supercharger belt. The smaller stage 2 pulley requires a shorter serpentine belt that's included with the kit. We removed the spring loaded tensioner to swap the belt. With the belt out of the way, we finished removing the stage 1's 3 and 3 quarter inch supercharger pulley. The smaller supercharger pulley on the right spins the blower faster, increasing supercharger boost. We installed the 3 and a quarter inch pulley using the same screws. We finished routing the belt and wrapped it around the supercharger pulley and finished tightening the bolts. Next, we mated the air filter, mass airflow sensor housing, and air box using the supplied screws. Edelbrock includes a rubber edge seal to keep hot engine compartment air out of the intake tract. Next, we transferred the MAF sensor from the factory intake to the Edelbrock Stage 2 setup. Before installing the air box, we connected the MAF sensor harness. The Edelbrock Stage 2 air box uses the factory grommets and hardware and draws air through the factory cold air opening in the grill. Next, we installed the supplied grommet, aluminum adapter, and PCV tube. Though not necessary, we installed spark plugs that were one heat range colder than stock and gapped them to 30 thousandths. Finally, we flashed the PCM with the supplied tune file from Edelbrock. On the dyno at Boost Addicts in Gallatin, Tennessee, the gains with the Stage 2 upgrade were impressive. In Stage 1 trim, the 2.65 liter supercharger squeezed a maximum of 7 psi of boost in our stock Coyote engine to yield 452 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque to the wheels on Boost Addicts in-house Mustang dynamometer. The Stage 2 upgrade added 3 psi of boost and combined with the less restrictive cold air kit added a sizable 85 horsepower and 70 pound-feet of torque for a final tally of 537 horsepower and 485 pound-feet. With that much power and torque, we knew we'd be getting close to what the 47 pound per hour ejectors and factory fuel pump could support. A data log of our dyno pull confirmed our suspicion. At over 100%, our injectors were completely tapped out. At the top end of the pole, the air-fuel ratio started to stray a bit leaner than commanded, although it was still safe. Before adding any more boost to this combination, we'll definitely need larger injectors and a fuel pump voltage booster. Regardless, the gains from the Stage 2 upgrade were really impressive. We're just scratching the surface to what the Edelbrock E4 Supercharger can do in this application.